Others claim to be maximalists. Me? I'm a minimalist. I like to think I walk a fine line between displaying my treasures and collections and avoiding having a mental breakdown every time I clean the house. When we moved, Deb decided to get rid of the ironing board. And I'm like one of those people who are like, we better keep it just in case. Well, she grabbed this Nori iron off of Amazon. I just saw that they are having a huge sale. It's 25% off. I want to show you how well this does. Iron does pretty much everything. That's the off and on. And then this is the different types of fabric, polyester, silk. You get the picture. And then it even has a steam option if you need that. So the iron is compact it is convenient it has an eight foot cord it can lay on your surfaces without damaging them um it's got a long arm to really fit into your clothing it does an excellent job as well if you are like us don't have an ironing board or an iron grab this nori during the sale i'm going to put the link here again through this you can get it on amazon for 25% off, which is huge. It's the best uh, sale that they have. So thirsty. Finish this house. Baby, let's cruise away from here. This is another simple hairstyle you can do with your fake ponytail. Put all of your hair on top of your head in a bun. Wrap the rubber band of the fake ponytail around that twice or until it's tight. Twist all of the hair from the ponytail around the bun and then secure it with a claw clip. We kind of wanted it decorative, so we're Catch this before everybody ate, but hamburgers, baked beans, pulled pork, pizza? ribs. Pardon? You want to watch pizza? No, you can have it. I need both of the box. Oh, you need the box open? Okay, hold on one second. Corn on the cob. Pizza, pizza? Wings. Baked potatoes. Dessert. Gluten-free brownies with frosting and cookies. And pizza for the boys. Okay, I figured we could come in here and I wanted to share the garden and how this is doing. It's weed whacking, so I hope you can hear me. Here are the onions. These are like little set onions, which are white ones. There's red back there. There's candy onions here, and then those are our green onions. Our strawberries, which I need to pick. I picked them the other day. They're so good. Planted some seeds a couple, uh, I'd say maybe a week ago. And these were some free seeds that we got with our order. They always send a pack. I think these are some type of radishes. A cherry tomato, cucumbers. Here are one, two, three, six tomato plants. Green beans. These are kohlrabi tomatoes. I need to stake the, the rest of these up. Zucchini. They're doing really well. I'm 
crossing my fingers that those stupid bugs that came and ruined all of our zucchinis last year, but probably by this time, they were terrible. And these are beets, more strawberries, a few cabbage, peppers, different kinds of peppers, and our herbs. I have a meeting right now, actually, but something exciting is happening today. I'll share after the meeting. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'm done with my meeting and I'll go out and show you what's happening this week. I saw one message come in and they guessed it. Oh, I know what you're talking I don't even know what's happening this week. <laughs> I also wanted to let you know that we will be sharing over the next several days lots of Father's Day gift ideas. We came up with a bunch of really cool things. So stay tuned for that. It'll be, I'll share them in stories. I also wanted to let you know that all of our meat yesterday for our get together was from ButcherBox. They still have a great code. DebDan30 will get you $30 off of your first box. Plus, make sure to tap through this link and check out what they are offering now because they always offer these really great things like one of them is free bacon for life. All of ButcherBox meat is high quality and humanely raised. There are so many options to choose from and the convenience of having it delivered to your door is amazing. You can really taste the difference in their meats. Again, use code DEBDAN30 for $30 off of your first order. This is a lunch idea. I love doing this. We had one hamburger left, so we split it, the leftover hamburger, and then I made like what you would put on your hamburger, lettuce, pickle, tomato, and this is a hamburger bowl. And then I just used mustard. I told you this morning that someone was here, that someone is the guy who does the boring under our driveway for our lamps that we have been waiting on. Deb and I were just trying to figure it out. I think it's been three years, three years for our pond pump and our antique lights that are going to run down the driveway so we need to go we didn't know he was coming today so we need to go and um figure out where they're going to be and we'll record it for you and kind of show you what we've got in mind he has uh done boring for us in the past but i have never seen it so i'm actually going to watch and i'll record but they bore under the driveway and through the woods so we don't have to lose a bunch of trees Course it's windy so I'm not sure if you can hear me but we have six lampposts to place and we want to start clear down there at the end of the driveway so I'll show you Deb's gonna measure so we can kind of map out the distance between one and then I have two three four five six and I'm afraid it's gonna look like circus town runway is that them better move our thing I'm afraid it's gonna look like a runway but then I'm afraid three is not gonna look right either. We stopped by our friend's house today who has some lampposts down her driveway, but hers is more curved and it's just different. So um, we also drove by a couple other homes that we know that has them. And we came to the conclusion that three would probably be the best. It's windy, so I hope you can hear me. We're thinking one over there, one over there, and one here. But I think it would be really cool with one in here too. But then again, we want a really cool like brick entrance here. So that wouldn't look right either. And then we are gonna have one back there at the chicken coop. 
and this decision has to be made by tomorrow so that's why we're kind of like trying to get this figured out um he is going to start it so he's going to do the boring and then the electrician he's in contact with him will come and run all the lines and then i'm pretty sure deb and i are going to put up the lamp posts now we were out there, Deb came out with me, and we thought where the placement is, four looks better. I know that four is an even number, but there's too much space between the three. And then one just, I, I don't know what to do. Then we have this issue. We have six to place total. So if we don't figure out where we want all six of them, we're going to have to redo every, have, have everyone come back. And we don't want to do that uh, because, you know, that might be another six years. So we really want to figure out where all six of them are going. One is going to go back by the chicken coop and the other one we think we're going to put inside of the woods here. So that would make six, but we're trying to make this decision. Probably once a day, I get asked about my hair growth products. So this is an update on my hair growth. Um, I <laughs> I laugh because I can't I can't believe I did not have this this. I just can't. Um, one of the products that I use is from amazing hair savior it's their oil and then this um it is called bonding treatment so i've been using amazing hair savior since the very beginning um and you know i love all natural products so this is all natural this has coconut oil rosemary and almond and all of them do different things for your hair thickness uh strengthening promotes growth, etc. My hair is a mess because I have so much new growth. It is so thin on the ends, but it is so thick up in here. You can see that. Um, I'll put a picture up here before I'm done talking about this because I love it so much. I'll put a picture up of what it was before. But before you wash your hair, I'm going to wash mine tonight, you take one or two dropperfuls, I usually do two, and you just pull it through your hair. I massage it, so that was one, but I massage it like that, and then I pull it all through the ends. And then I take the bonding treatment, and I take that much, and I do the same. I pull it through the ends of my hair and just basically massage it all in. I just put my hair back up in a clip or in a tie, uh, let it set for a couple hours and wash it out like normal. I do have a code, DND will get you 15% off. I'm gonna put that link here. I love this, again, it's all natural. It helps promote hair growth as well as take care of the hair that you have on your head already, along with it's excellent for your scalp. So DND, check it out, you will love it out here um, see where that flag is we're gonna put one there and let me show you up here we're going to put one there you can't see that one on this side you can't see that either I don't think one there one here and then Deb came up with this idea put one in here because that is where our screen porch is going to go, right here. We thought about putting one in here. We originally wanted one in here where the fire pit is going to be, but Deb and I decided that we will do that ourselves because we have... Hold on. That one. So we'll be able to run it from there over to here. Another thing that you need if you are building a home, put a spigot inside your garage with 
hot water. For when you wanna wash your car or when your dog rolls in poop or something. This is one of the most convenient things that we put in our new build. I highly recommend doing so if you're remodeling or building. This is a softener salt shoe.